I would like to share in this episode some recent experiences uh, I have had, uh, which are very interesting and from where a lot of lessons can be learned about using 360 degree feedback for building leaders in your company. I had an experience of working with a chairman and managing director of a large company. This company had over 50 and odd deputy general managers. Almost all of them were heads of the departments. The chairman came, went through 360 degree feedback. He heard of it, he himself didn't go through this. So he asked his HR department to present and the HR department presented to him and suggested that this is a good tool for apprising employees. However, the department said this has got to be done anonymously and uh, then they suggested in a consultant to be appointed. The consulting company was appointed and the consulting company said that it is uh, uh, good enough as for international standards if you get for each employee uh, to assess uh, six people minimum, that is the acceptable standard. Uh, so the company decided that there should be at least three uh, reporting persons, three juniors or subordinates of each manager and two to three colleagues from other departments who are interacting with him or her and one or if there are dual reporting relationship, two bosses to assess and all this should be done anonymously. And the consulting company also suggested to this company that since uh, the span of control of some of the managers uh, is varied, sometimes as high as about nine to 10 people. So the company will select using uh, randomized sampling techniques, randomly three people from the subordinates and randomly three people from the colleague group after putting all the list and will send out a questionnaire for anonymous assessment. This will be collected uh, by the uh, HR department who would tabulate and uh, do the average scores and so on and pass on the results to the chairman and managing director at the same time when the results are passed on to the individual concerned. Uh, the process worked apparently uh, well. It created some fear in the on the first uh, year, but uh, people say that I think the feedback was useful. By the third year, there was a lot of turmoil in this company because the conflicts, interpersonal conflicts, particularly between colleagues increased. And uh, the conflicts also between uh, juniors in some of the departments increased. The entire organization teamwork became a difficult kind of an issue. This is because they felt that uh, all the 360 reports are seen by the uh, managing director and he, in his coaching, he would uh, discuss uh, weaknesses, his strong points and so on and focus on areas of improvement and on the basis of the 360 degree feedback and the performance appraisal system, he will give finally a rating and the rating is final. So the chairman managing director after he discovered that the 360, the way he used it has created a lot of issues, uh, got my assistance. He said, you are a 360 expert. I don't know what mistake we made, but I think we are doing it. Why don't you come and examine? When I went there to analyze, I discovered some things which are very startling. These are the following. Number one, in randomly selecting from the juniors and colleagues, the HR department were assumed that, let's assume that they have done a very thorough and sincere job. The HR department randomly selected and sent out questionnaires anonymously to these candidates. But while presenting the results, the HR department gave the individual ratings, now without names, because even the HR department know who rated whom, the individual ratings, like subordinate one, these are the ratings on the 30 items on which the people were, the person was assessed. Similarly, three colleagues rated you. This is colleague one, these are the ratings, colleague two, these are the ratings, colleague three, these are the ratings. And bosses, of course, normally one boss, these are the bosses ratings. Bosses normally, 
or uh, a little shy of giving anything less and also we all put up a good show so therefore in most of the cases bosses were uh, nice and gave rather lenient ratings in those cases where they were not lenient there was a, certainly a dialogue and uh, they can't they can't be a better dialogue than the dialogue with the with the chairman himself and some of the managers i think when they got any low ratings from the uh senior they got compensated by the others and then they had an opportunity to talk to the chairman so until this there was absolutely no issue but the major issue was when the individual ratings along with the averages are known to the individual the entire 360 feedback profile came some of the uh, dgms who got their feedback saw among the colleagues not much among the juniors junior ratings were fine but among the colleagues they find that uh, some of the colleagues have given on a five point scale ratings of 1 2 1 2 1 2 consistently in all the 30 items so the person who got the ratings thought that there there is a colleague of him or two colleagues who have pulled down his ratings and then made a guess of who these colleagues are these are normally the ones who are critical in uh, their meetings or whatever it is so several of the dgms identified each one of them one or two dirty boys who rated them and pulled down their ratings and these ratings have gone to the chairman and managing director and will not forgive them and it resulted in meeting in meetings they are not cooperating and it resulted in all kinds of issues interpersonal conflict increasing fortunately i had the access to the randomly selected names and uh, numbers but you don't need any access to them i picked up the names i would go to the person who is very unhappy with his colleague and ask him who do you think has rated he says obviously this mr x i know him i think i have uh, i i don't i am going to give it back to him so i take the name and go back to the hr department and uh, check the name and to my surprise in many cases i discovered senior managers who thought their ratings were pulled down by their colleagues were not even in the list of those who assessed them means in random selection if there are about half a dozen people the anonymous questionnaire went to abc whereas the uh, receiver of feedback thought it was a d or e and therefore started showing his unhappiness on d and e now out of 50 cases this has happened at least in about a dozen cases in the message spread and the entire atmosphere got vitiated not only that when the chairman managing director gets copies and discusses these copies for coaching this is not the best thing to do there is a fear because we all fear all said and done in indian culture we fear our bosses and when the boss says anything normally the boss will pick up negative things because if the performance is not good and rarely he will say positive things even if he says positive things we will not be talking about it outside it's uh so we keep it to the heart and it becomes a so it created a lot of job tension in this particular company friends i have narrated this at length because you see who made a mistake first of all the hr department did not understand uh, how 360 should be conducted i think normally i we normally say you should send to all juniors uh, the for assessment and you should send to all colleagues with whom you have internal uh, uh, relationships if some of them and keep on persuading them if there is no response it's okay after some time you'll have to say that's it we normally say you should get at least about 60 to 70% of response otherwise it will be a biased kind of thing 3 out of 10 not responding to you may indicate that they have some serious uh, things or they i think their opinions are important that's why we say preferably 60 to 70% response is a good response and the mistake this particular company this consultant made the consultant apparently read some of the books and from globally books and picked up some data like i think it is enough uh, if you get get about six people to respond and you should choose randomly i think this is another serious kind of a mistake third mistake made was presenting the data by individual each individual what they have said it creates a lot of tensions because the whole purpose of 360 degree feedback is to provoke you to think identify your strong points 
even if one person sees a strong point in you we take the view that means somebody has noticed a strong point in you leverage it if you even if one person sees a weak point that means your objective is not to say no he is not right etc etc to prove in the next few months that you do not exhibit this weakness so the purpose of 360 is to slowly multiply your strength and eliminate your areas of improvement and so on this principle was not followed we always say that always for coaching i think you should use an outsider at least for the first time but we also encourage coaching by boss but when the coaching is done by boss it should be volunteered by the junior not as a regular mechanism and the last mistake this particular company made was the ratings of the cmd were final and then it determined promotions and performance incentives and things like that we have consistently maintained that performance appraisals should not be linked with 360 feedback 360 figure feedback is provocative it is developmental and it is meant to help people to discover their strengths and leverage their strengths i have seen many hr managers in the recent past who have not even read 360 degree feedback my colleague raju and i have written a book the power of 360 degree feedback published by sage it is in the market for the last 15 years many people go through this i think it's a good idea to go through because we discussed many of these issues but i do come across in spite of so much of literature available on 360 degree feedback like the uh center for creative leadership from uh, uh north carolina are doing a lot of it and they have they they very clearly maintain the principles in 360 degree feedback there is so much literature available but some consultants and some hr managers seem to pick up wrong things first of all people don't read hr managers don't read in one company i have seen some the ceo was saying that look start the 360 feedback passed on to hr manager hr manager uh, undertook this particular kind of a task and to get a few people uh, uh, profiled using 360 degree feedback the hr manager went on postponing 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 so what could have been done in a matter of a couple of weeks took about 6 uh, months by the time the steam was lost and when finally the program was to be held a, there was a change in the hr manager the new hr manager could not get the dates from the senior manager because none of them understood in spite of a, a a program being given and it went on and on and finally when the workshop was held most of the managers said are these reliable because i was contacted almost about 6 months ago my juniors have transformed i have a new batch of people everything has changed now you are calling me for a feedback after 6 months after this i think i may have changed the situation may have changed many things have happened i think this is uh, please take it with a pinch of salt for which we have to say it doesn't matter i think we solve the situation please treat it as 6 months ago the way you have appeared to people and this is the way you have appeared treat it and i think 6 months ago you were the boss even if some of them have changed you you are a junior so this is a good learning it you it indicates past and if it is still true i think work on it if it is not true you can be happy you know this is not correct you can throw it away because we always maintain 360 degree feedback is a feedback given by a set of people in a, at a given point of time it is not necessarily to be uh, a sta- stable thing in fact the whole purpose of giving is to change you if you can change and then show better behavior it is good for you good for the company and so on so friends before you undertake anything like 360 degree feedback please understand nuances in 360 it's a powerful tool but in the hands of a person who is not ignorant who is ignorant who doesn't know how to do it who doesn't know how to help who is busy with a lot of other things who is under stress for uh, maybe recruitment or promotions or transfers or change of jobs or attrition engagement i think if you do it under a busy schedule where you don't have enough time and you co- you keep on changing everything you may carry this out just for name sake but it will is not likely to give you results and i want to blame you if you happen to be the hr facilitator uh, doing this i think you are perhaps responsible for bringing bad name for 360 degree feedback i hope you learn good lessons from it and do a great job all the best 
प्लीज़ बी केयरफुल